<sighs> I just woke up, uh, but Apple decided to release an update at like 1 a.m. last night, so we're, we're gonna go through it. Apple, why do you do this to me? Why do you hate me? So if I look exhausted, it's just because I am, I just woke up. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't look very good right now, but oh well, uh, we're gonna go through this, and so uh, let's, uh, let's jump into this. So big topic for today is should you update to iOS 11.2? Um, and uh, yeah, you should. So let's uh, jump in. I'll tell you guys the changes and why Apple released this so soon. It's a stupid reason. And I'm sure you, a lot of you have probably heard it by now, but um, I'll, I'll say it anyway, because it's kind of a big deal. So iOS 11.2 brings some nice new features that uh, just nice to have. One of them was even uh, promised to us all the way back at the uh, original keynote, the developer conference back in June. And that big one would be Apple Pay over messaging. So now you can actually send your friends money using Apple Pay just using iMessage, which is pretty cool actually. Now, this is assuming you're both on iOS 11.2 and uh, I don't know, you owe your buddy some money instead of going to the pain of getting cash, why not just send it to him over iMessage? It's, it's cool. Now, obviously the usefulness of this is gonna vary person to person. For me, I'm like never ever gonna use this. I don't use Apple Pay anyway, just where I live. There's not a lot of people who use Apple Pay, but for some people it could be a really big deal. So it's cool to have, that's for sure. Wireless charging on the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, and iPhone 10 is now a little bit faster. Before it only supported up to 5 watts, but now it supports up to 7.5 watts, which is better. It's not it's not amazing. It's not that much faster in real real life use, but it is better. Apple fixed that annoying bug in the calculator app that everybody was talking about, even me, a little while ago. So now if you type 1 plus 2 plus 3, you should get 6 instead of 24. So that's a nice feature to have. The wallpapers that came with iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 are now available on other iPhones, so that's kind of cool. So uh, make sure you check those out if you're interested. Also on the lock screen for the iPhone 10, there's now a little indicator on the top right to let you know that's where the control center is. This was actually in their keynote, but they never actually had it on the iPhone 10 at release. So, I mean, it's kind of neat, I guess, to tell you where it is. Um, it'll be good for, you know, people who are new to the iPhone 10 experience, I'd imagine. Not a big deal to me, but hopefully some people will like that. We now get the three live wallpapers that we saw in the commercial for the iPhone 10, which is awesome because they look super cool. In the control center, if you turn off Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, there will be a pop-up explaining what actually happens and it'll turn white instead of you know kind of graying it out. Apple's not getting rid of their stupid um, not turning off Wi-Fi thing but at least they're kind of letting you know a little bit better so you know next best thing. The emojis have been tweaked a little bit not even gonna bother showing that because it's emojis. <laughs> If you're really interested in emojis, you can go look it up online. And so those are the big name features. It's a good update. And the big reason Apple decided to release it so quickly and randomly is because apparently a giant bug hit iOS last night at 12.15 AM. So personally, I wasn't affected on any of my phones. and I have quite a few, but apparently it hit quite a few people. So if it did to you, update to iOS 11.2, hopefully, It'll fix it. As far as I know, according to everything Apple Pro, the bug would just cause you to respring every like 30 seconds, which is pretty brutal. You can't use your phone like that. I don't know what caused this to happen on Apple's end, but holy cow, that's terrible. I don't know, Apple's been so bad lately when it comes to bugs, it's ridiculous. I don't know what Apple's been doing. iOS 10 felt much better than this. Should you update to iOS 11.2? Absolutely, there's just literally no reason not to. Um, it's it's fine, it's a good version as far as I can see. And you know, you're just getting a few features that are adding to what we already have and making iOS 11 a bit more of a complete experience. If you're still one of the few people holding out on iOS 10, this is definitely not the time to upgrade to iOS 11. It's still very broken, wouldn't recommend it. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. If this video was helpful, leave a like below and uh, consider subscribing for more great content. And I'm sorry for the poor quality video. I just woke up. Apple screwed me over here. <laughs> I, I had the video prepared, like the script, but I hadn't actually filmed it yet because I figured Apple wouldn't release iOS 11.2 for another few days, but nope. So there's that. All right, thanks again for watching. I'm Joshua91Tech and I will see you all next time.